In this video, we're going to configure Intune auto enrollment with group policies. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. In order for our clients to be managed, they need to be enrolled in Intune. There are a few ways that this can take place. For this example, we're going to configure auto enrollment for domain joined workstations using a GPO. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Windows 365, and Hybrid Identities with Windows 80 and Azure AD. Hybrid Identities is a part of what we're talking about in this video. Also, subscribe to my newsletter. Links to all that goodness is below. And thank you, channel members, for your support. Back to it. I have to be upfront about this one. There's a lot of material on auto-enrollment beyond what I can cover in one video. I'm narrowing the scope of this to configuring auto-enrollment so our domain join Windows clients are automatically enrolled into Intune. In order for a device to be managed by Intune, it has to be enrolled into Intune. There are a few ways to handle enrollment. We can manually add a cell phone to Intune, for example, by signing into the Intune app on the device. Auto-enrollment is a way, as the name suggests, to automatically enroll clients into Intune. It verifies that only authorized and authenticated devices are managed by the enterprise. With domain join computers, we can automatically add devices to Intune once an Intune enabled user logs in. That's what we're covering in this video. In order to automatically enroll domain join devices, we need to configure a group policy to trigger the enrollment. That implies we have Windows AD. Azure Active Directory Domain Services doesn't support hybrid Azure AD join and isn't supported for auto enrollment. There are a few other things we need. We need a Windows AD domain synchronizing to Azure AD with Azure AD Connect Sync. Azure AD Connect Sync must be configured to synchronize devices, not just users. And we have to use Azure AD Connect Sync. Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync does not yet synchronize devices. The enterprise must be configured for mobile device management services. And for this example, mobile device management is scoped to a user group. The Windows devices will configure for auto enrollment can't already be joined to Intune and have to have a supported version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. To configure the group policy object, the domain needs an administrative template for Windows 10 or Windows 11. The administrative template defines the settings in our group policy. And here's where things get interesting. There are administrative templates available for multiple versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11, but the Windows 11 template is not backwards compatible with the Windows 10 settings. For the purpose of this video, we simply need to use a recent template because the MDM setting we're using is available on both. I'll include a link to a blog post below that outlines what to do if you have both Windows 10 and Windows 11 in the environment. Coming up, we're going to configure our environment for MDM and enable the group policy, then join a client to the domain and verify it's added to Intune. Be sure to stick around to the end to learn about the mistakes and problems I had when I created this demo. Let's jump into the portal to get started. Here we are in the Intune portal at intune.microsoft.com. Let's start by creating a group for our mobile device management users. This video is on auto enrolling devices, but Intune is licensed to users, not devices. This group is for our MDM enabled users. Go to groups, create a new group, Leave it as the type security and give it a name, MDM users for this example. You can add a description if you'd like, leave the rest and go to members. Add users with an Intune license assigned. This example, it's test one. And create. We now have our MDM group with our MDM users. Next, we're going to enable MDM support for our Azure AD tenant, or I guess I should call it the Entra ID tenant now. We can do this from the Intune portal or Azure AD. We'll do it from Intune. Let's go to Devices, Enroll Devices. We have the option for automatic enrollment. Let's open that. For the MDM scope, we have the option for none, what it's set to now, some and all. All will enable MDM for all users. They still require a license. For this example, we'll select some. Next, click on no group selected and we'll select a group. 
we'll add the group we just created, MDM users. Select the group. We can leave the terms and compliant URL as it's set, and we won't change MAM. Let's save. And now our organization is enabled for auto enrollment. Next, we need to move to the Windows AD domain to configure groups and group policy objects. The first step is to add a group for our MDM managed devices. We'll use this to filter our group policy objects coming up. From Windows AD users and computers, go to computers and we'll add a group. We'll call this one MDM devices and click OK. We'll add our devices to this group in an upcoming step. Now that we have our group, let's go to group policy management and create our group policy object. From group policy objects, let's create a new group policy and we'll call this MDM enrollment. Let's edit that group policy we just created. Under computer configuration, go to policies, administrative templates. We'll go to Windows components and MDM. Open enable automatic MDM enrollment using default Azure AD credential settings. If you don't see this setting, your Windows 10 or Windows 11 administrative templates are out of date. I'll add a link below to the location of updated templates. Let's enable this setting. Select the user credential option. Device credentials are only supported for co-managed or Azure Virtual Desktop session hosts. We can leave the MDM application ID blank. Click apply and okay. And we can close the GPO editor. Let's select the policy we just modified. Next, we'll add a security group filter so the policy only applies to computers in the MDM device group we just created. Click Add, and we'll search for that group. The group is added. Next, we have to link this policy to an OU. If all your client computers are in a single OU, you can link it to that. For this example, we'll link it to the domain so it will be scoped at all OUs and computers in them. The security group filter will prevent the policy from applying to computers that are not in the MDM device security group. So we'll go to the domain, link existing GPO, and select the MDM enrollment GPO. Once that's linked, our domain group policy is configured for auto enrollment. Next, we'll verify auto enrollment. We'll start the process by viewing our devices in Intune. We'll go to Intune, Devices, and Windows Devices. At this point, we have no Windows clients in the environment. Next, we'll go to Windows AD. The computer is joined to the domain, but we need to add it to the MDM device group we configured earlier. Computers in this group will get the auto enrollment GPO settings. From Azure AD users and computers, we'll add the computer to the MDM device group. Be sure to include computer objects. The computer for this example is MDM client one. We'll apply. Remember, if you're in a domain with multiple sites and domain controllers, you may need to wait for replication to take place. Next, we'll restart the client computer to apply the GPO. This client happens to be an Azure VM, so let's go to the Azure portal, and we'll restart the client. We could also log in and run GP update. While we're waiting for the restart, let's go to Azure AD and verify the client is showing as hybrid joined. Here we are in Devices and Azure AD. Let's go to All Devices. From here, we'll filter on Hybrid Join. So we'll select Join Type. 
and set it to hybrid Azure AD joined. There's the client we're using. This is an important step because the device has to be hybrid joined before it can be added to Intune with a group policy auto enrollment. If it's not showing, be sure that Azure AD Connect Sync has ran. And if OU filters are in place, the computer account is in an OU configured for synchronization. Next, we'll log into the client computer with the user account that has an Intune license assigned. Now that we're logged in, let's open up Task Scheduler as an administrator to check for a device management task. We have to start it as an administrator to view the tasks. Once in Task Scheduler, we'll go to Microsoft, Windows, and Enterprise Management. We have a task called Schedule Created by Enrollment Client for automatically enrolling in MDM from AAD. That indicates the group policy was applied. Let's go to Intune and see if our client is available. Here we are in Intune. Let's go to Devices and Windows. And there's our Windows client with our user listed as the primary user. One thing to note, this didn't happen immediately. I did have to wait and refresh a couple times before it showed up as compliant. That's the demo on auto-enrolling clients to Intune with a group policy. As promised, I wanted to give you a few items that I got wrong when I created this demo, and hopefully you can avoid the same mistakes. First, be sure that the Windows 80 computer account is configured to hybrid Azure AD joined to Azure AD. I had an OU filter in place, and initially my computer account was not synchronizing to Azure AD. For my first attempt, I used a Windows 10 multi-user OS image on an Azure VM for the client. The steps in this video are not intended for a multi-user OS. There's a different GPO setting for that. Also, I was testing in a virtualized environment. I don't have a lot of spare hardware laying around. Make sure your Intune user has rights to RDP into the computer. Admins can RDP to Windows by default, but normal users may need to be added for remote access in Windows 10 or Windows 11. I logged in as a local admin, joined the VM to the domain, and added the user for RDP access before recording this video. That's a walkthrough of how to automatically enroll Windows 80 joined devices to Intune with a group policy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.